good evening or morning as you will or are uh so uh really two things to talk about one yesterday i saw the heart doctors again uh and uh was told i probably won't live more than another six months uh what the doctor specifically said was that uh she doesn't expect to see me again six months from now. Uh, meaning I'm not going to make it that far. Unless something changes uh, with my heart, it's not getting better. Um, I've gone off all the heart meds uh, because they make me feel terrible. And uh, they make me non-functional. And it's better that I dropped out of a heart attack than be that non-functional. So that's where that stands. I went out and got drunk on $20 of my last $30 uh, to celebrate being told I'm about to die. Uh, well, I don't mind. Uh, I, I don't want it to hurt. I hope it comes fast and sudden. Um, now the other thing is that this morning... Uh, I thought I would change my uh, pattern of movie watching and reviewing and watch something new. Uh, but every new movie I see just reminds me that the new movies aren't even really movies. Uh, I, I tried to watch The Killer, the new David Fincher movie. from a script by Andrew Kevin Walker, who wrote Seven for Fincher back in the day. Uh, Seven is, is a truly great movie. Uh, Pretty close to being a perfect movie, if you ask me. And uh, Fincher spent a lot of time wandering in the weeds, making uh, passable movies from scripts the studio paid way too much for. Um, rescue work. And it seems to have poisoned him, I think, as an artist, because the killer isn't any better than the social network or... Uh, Benjamin Button, uh, it's maybe worse, actually. It's the writing is just, it's, it's continuous cliches. The movie moves agonizingly slowly. There's no character development to make you, trick you into caring about characters. Uh, uh, that's on purpose, but uh, given that the movie is also slow and cliche ridden, it, it doesn't help. Um, I only watched about an hour of it. It, it. I can't even say it wasn't going anywhere because it was going somewhere, but there was no reason to care about where it was going. Like, dude's a hired assassin and uh, he, his job goes awry, so he starts hunting down the people who fucked him up. Donald Westlake did this better um, a long time ago, <laughs> before I was born, in fact. Um, and even so, it has that same problem of feeling post- cinema it's not a movie there's so many subtle ways in which it feels like it just isn't a feature film it's something else some formally something other than a movie uh this movie is not a movie none of the movies seem to be movies anymore these days uh even the great movies are non-movies in that they are entirely reactionary against the larger failure of the cinema so so that's a little disheartening. Uh, I mean, you know, maybe if I really have six months to live and I'm, who knows, who knows whether I should believe them. I might have six minutes to live. Uh, I might, well, I, 60 years would be beyond. I'm 52, so it's definitely not 60 years. Anyway, I'm not sure I believe them. Uh, and I definitely didn't believe this movie. Uh, it's a bullshit job. As far as being a movie is concerned, I, I say this a lot about certain kinds of movies, but it, it feels like uh, the filmmakers are uh, doing it for a homework assignment. Like they aren't, they aren't actually making a movie. They're bullshitting their way through making a movie so they can get the homework done. Um, I don't think I have anything else to say about that. Uh, I tired, feel sad and sickly. Can't really, the way my heart is fucked up, I can't really drink. I mean, I can, and then I feel it the next day. I don't feel hungover. I just feel exhausted. Um, anyway, uh, 
thanks for paying attention. Um, and uh, hopefully I'll be seeing you again soon. This is uh, as of today. I've been given five months and 29 days to live. If every month has 30 days. <laughs> oh, wow. It wanted to ask me about storage space while I'm making a video. That's really obnoxious. <laughs>